Hi guys. Hi Lolo. down just a little bit. Little bre black dress, also a dino, Rudo. Oh guys, guys, you guys. It's been a little bit of a shit show today. Uh, maybe the last 48 hours, I should say. We're getting there, hang on. Bear with me, I'm not ready. I'm totally behind, I'm way, I'm way too busy right now. Pick a proper playlist. It's got a throwback Schubert. Schubert on. It's not that. Schubert, sorry, my music teacher would be pissed. Alright, y'all. Fuck. Alright, can you see me okay? Am I in the frame now? Or am I not in the frame now? I'm not even wearing a fucking hat, y'all. Jesus Christ. Hi, everyone. So first... First, I want to apologize. Yes, I want to start by apologizing myself. And I mean that wholeheartedly. I apologize to every single person who I may have unfollowed today out of haste and emotional distress because of messages I received on the other end of this that I'm not sharing with y'all. Really, I'm not sharing the exact messages. It's just been a whole bunch of underhanded back and forth bullshit today. And it came out in a way that I didn't like with my people, so there it is. Man, y'all hang on a sec. Hang on a goddamn minute. Chewy Presses, Nation of Rebels. Huh? And that's how it's done every night. That's how it's done every night. And there we go. All right, I'm good. What's up, BB? Uh-oh, the Powerball number just came out. Did anybody win? Who's buying pins for the rest of us? <laughs> All right, so there we go. I feel better now that I'm within theme. I think John Williams would appreciate the playlist tonight. I think that's really what matters. Miguel, friend. So there we go. All right. So, yes, back to my apology. So, I was doing more due diligence today to see what was going on, because I was busy, and then I went and did a check. And, um, I just had noticed that a lot of people who watched the stream were still following Pinch It. And I just made me wonder, like, Is what I'm saying just for entertainment? Is what I do with this just entertaining? Because I mean, if it is, if it's just entertainment, then I won't be so passionate about it anymore. I won't be as vocal or I'll keep it to myself. 
I mean, I'll keep it to my sh my channel, not necessarily the stream, like to my postings. But I do it here because we interact and we talk about it, and I feel like I can engage with y'all on the nature of the beast and why I'm feeling this way, or why whatever's happening is happening. And like the overall enhancement we can make. Anyway, la this is the sequel to last night's stream. If what happened to me a year ago with Pinship would affect would have affected me, I'm I want to talk about consequences. That's what I'm getting at here. Consequences. Consequences. The consequences of your action or inaction, so to speak. The consequences of my actions today caused others that I care about to suffer. And in that way, I am very much sorry. I'm very sorry. I apologize. I regret it 100%. I immediately realized it after I did the video on the drive on the way home. Imagine if what happened with Pinship and I way back when a year ago, before I ever went to the Pizza Boys Butcher Vision show, long before I ever found the Midnight Society, long before I really found BB Create. Imagine if Pinship, one of the first pin makers I purchased pins from, had left such a sour fucking taste in my mouth that I never bought another pin from anyone else again what the consequence of that could have been in that way. There would be no pin pirate. I would have never made the Instagram. There would be no live stream. There would never be this. Somebody else may have come along and been this and it may not have been good or as good or it may have been even better. But the consequence of their actions has brought forth and has sprung the pin pirate, okay? Long before today. Their actions created a seed back then that I wanted to be this way and do this and tell you what the fuck was up with why my shit was fucked up, okay? And yeah, I hope I'm the only one that ever has a problem. I really do. I hope that I'm the only one who's ever had a problem. Midnight Society. Nat said it simply. He's allowed to leave a review as a customer. They handled themselves poorly. Thank you, Nat. I would say even further on top of that, I left a review and then I left them entirely and then came back to them to ask them if they were willing to bridge again and, and build that fence, build that bridge and break the fence down and be like, yo, yes, oh, okay, sure. We appreciate your feedback. Thank you. We went through a lot of change. Allow me to make it up for you and do this instead of you can do this if you want. That was the reaction. You can do this if you want. Midnight Society has said it perfectly. And so the consequences of the actions of pinship in the last 24 to 48 hours have caused me to do things that my con that have consequences to others. And so I want to apologize to Tessa and Limelight Designs. I want to apologize to Shifty. I want to apologize to Fourth Kind Pins. I want to apologize to That Random Hero and The Pin Wizard and Nerd Pins and everyone who I know loves me and understands what I'm saying here and appreciates and values what I'm doing and did not intentionally continue to follow Pinship in a way that in my moment of haste thought, well, what the fuck? So that is what happened. I got hasty and I apologize for my quick trigger finger and that is my temper showing. I do have one. I have a temper. I do, but it's not misplaced. What's misplaced is the education we're trying to provide in this situation. Misplaced education, it can be so dangerous. So fucking dangerous. That's right, it's part of being the pin community. This is the community of people who want to be educated, who want to continue to educate each other. It's not just about money. You're exactly right, pins bro. That's what it was. It was, it was always my intention. It's, 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 it's um, it's his cycle dance. It's Marty's cycle dance from Big Lebowski. You realize this? This makes me so happy right now in this moment that this came on. Anyway. Yeah, so and I put the video up with the full intention for all y'all who watch, because I'm getting about three to 400 people watching my IG story now, which is crazy. 
If y'all are watching that, then you're paying attention and you're gonna realize that maybe you're following a shitty maker and that you didn't even know or realize that you're adding onto their likes and adding onto their followers that helps in increase and enhance their business model and their, and their ability to do business. So that's what I'm saying. If we're educating everybody, if we're educating everybody, we want everybody to understand the pitfalls that come with ordering from a place like them. As with Made by Cooper, yes, <laughs> I was wondering if you'd come and give me notes. <laughs> it's already the 10th. <laughs> my, I'm performing, I finally got my venue to perform my cycle. Where's the Marty pin? <laughs> What's funny is, is when I first found Pinship, I mean, how perfect for me, right? Pinship? I've always believed in friendship and pinship. It's a shame that they have that name because they are the exact opposite of what that word means and what I feel that word means. So that's what I mean by consequences. If, if we all make an active choice to disregard their business and maybe speak out occasionally on why you choose to not do business with them because you maybe see others that you know doing business with them and say, hey, they got some good pins. I mean, they got some great designs. Whoever designs the pins, great job. I really like them. It's so hard for me not to buy their pins because there's some great pins that I want of theirs. But, hi, Mame. But what I'm saying is it's a matter of willpower and conviction. I don't need their pins in my life, just like I don't need any more abandoned ship apparel bullshit, and I don't need any more Made by Cooper or Curio Mill shit anymore. And the list goes on with others that I haven't named, but there are other names out there that I just don't need to fuck with anymore. So it's all good. Ask Clowns of Plenty Pin Studio. John does it right. John T. Wilt D. Wiltshire does it right. I don't know why I was gonna switch the T and the D. So, imagine if they had prohibited the pin pirate from becoming so, and there would be no pin pirate, and we wouldn't be here doing this and having this conversation. I'm glad. I'm glad that they did. They brought us together. Pinship did. Pinship has brought us together. It's funny. We almost had 300, 300 views on last night's stream. 300 total by the time this has started. Two, it was sitting at 297 right before I jumped on. I checked it. 297. So whoever runs Pinship, if it is Reggie, probably went and ran his mouth to have a bunch of people come and check it out. Either that or what I posted just drummed up enough attention that everybody needed to see what, the, what as Kilgore says, what tea was being spilt. So anyway... What's up, Punch a Chewy, Shifty? I'll apologize to you guys right now. I'm sorry. I hope, I hope you still love me. The pin black maker list doesn't need to exist if we create the pin decks. If we create the pin decks, then there is a constant rolling, updated database of what the fuck is up. I'm talking about who's released what. I'm talking about I'm talking about a Beckett or a Wizard for pins. I've said it before. If you collected comics, if you traded cards, you read Wizard, you read Beckett, you looked to see what cards were valued at, what comic books were valued at. I want to do the same thing with pins in a different way that has a it has a all-encompassing feel. You know where they're based, you know how many people work in the company, you know what their pins average, you know what they what they like to produce mostly. That you've heard you hear customer reviews, you hear manufacturing details, you hear shipping details, you hear the the list is endless on what you could tell us makers. On the fascination I have, you know the fascination that I have with what you do and how these things are made. You know what I'm saying? I just think that there's a whole big wide world that was that is unexplored in this pin game and I'm ready to fucking sail the seas on it and chart shit and not genocide the Arawak Indians and not destroy what I find but cultivate it and help it grow 
and help build a connected world of all of this pin stuff because I love nothing more than when I give a, a new collector, a pin maker they never found or I introduce pin makers like at the show Nerd Pins and Bunsen Bean had finally met and it was just so cool to have them all meet Staring Yeti and have I want to apologize to Staring Yeti also like all these people meeting and I feel like I know all y'all so y'all should all know each other but you don't I'm like the only one who knows all these people and it's wild because I'm like you guys should totally be knowing each other and now you do and I like that what's up Pencil Dick Dexters I was gonna say I do want to do a best of the year I want to do a best of the pins, of pennies. Yes, I think that's a great idea. And it's voted on by the community. It's an all out community vote. Like everybody votes on it. If you want to, if you want to, you can vote on it. That's it. I think it's great. I think we, we see we're getting ahead of ourselves though. This is something I want to plan around that thing we're talking about, Miguel. That thing we're talking about down the road at that place that I've mentioned. And this idea that I've kind of mentioned on this stream before wink wink nudge nudge I want it to be a part of that so let's let's just keep that aligned with that I think for now and not get ahead of ourselves because I think those could be a combination of a powerful thing because everybody would be in person for that you know what I'm saying so anyway there are so many different pins but see there are also so many different collectors and if all of us collecting nominate certain pins you know so anyway, yes, let's get to the pins tonight. I got all Star Wars tonight. I had to put the Rebel Alliance tee on. I'm wearing Punch of Chewy Presses, Nation of Rebels. Peace to everybody. Peace and peace and love. Peace and love. The trophy would look like a giant emoji pin. <laughs> I want to thank Made by Cooper for this penny because your pin sucked ass. Thank you. Thank you. <laughs> Categories would be best Star Wars pin, best glitter variant, best variant in general, best first pin of your catalog, like first, like best new maker, I guess would be it, right? We can just take all the categories from every other thing that we, we watch or do. It would be great. Best supporting pin. Yes, best supporting pin. I love it. Uh, yes, best use of glow. Best glowing pin. Best hard enamel. Best soft enamel. I love it. I love it. That's fucking great. It's fucking great. Best shitty pin. Yes, best shitty pin. I like that. Just pin things. Best shitty pin. That's great. See, we generate the best ideas in this in this stream, on this chat. Like, we have, oh my god, see, this is what I say, yeah, it can be stressful because I run out of time and like some other things suffer, like the dogs are totally pissed at me right now because I'm doing this. Yeah, one pin wonders, yes. Oh my god, like, it's just, it's, it's killing me. All right, so, tonight I got pins from BB Create, Shifty, the full shit luck catalog so far, minus the new green, which hopefully will slide in right here, and the vending machine death. I got my in indoor finders pins in today, but I'm sorry to say, you guys, they sent me the wrong ones, because I didn't get all of them. And I'm gonna partly blame them for not even labeling the pins on the photo. So I don't know which exact pins are which. And I think they're called one thing and you think they're called another. And our Star Wars lingo might not be aligning on what I think what is. So I wrote them a DM, sent them a picture, sent them a photo of what I thought I ordered, asked them to please tell me where to resend the ones that I didn't want back to them so that they could send me the ones I did want. Thank you. And that's how I do that. That's how I do that. So hopefully they'll reply, but they don't seem so into their shit. It seems like a part-time thing for whoever's running that. So I'm not going to hold my breath. So I didn't put those out here tonight because they don't deserve it yet. <laughs> that's why, because they fucked my order up. Shitluck says, wait till you see the holiday editions. 
And I'm just gonna say something real quick about, about our situation, Leland. Okay, so Leia, let's talk about Leia. Shit Luck released originally the blue panty, then the purple panty, then the glitter panty. And because there are certain places that Shit Luck doesn't ship, I had worked out a deal with a maker who lives in the UK who wanted one. And I said, hey, next time he releases one, I'll order one for you too. And then I'll send it to you with your winnings from Flair Frenzy. And it was like, cool, great. Let me know. We'll, and there's some pins of his I want to buy. I was like, cool. I'll just let you know how much it costs and you can take it out of what I owe you for your pins and blah, blah, blah. I see people start, starting to get their glitter panty Leia's and I'm like, man, where the fuck are mine? So I hit Leland up. And I was like, yo, where, where's the glitter panties? He's like, oh, I just sent them out. You should get it. I was like, all right, cool. Another week or two passes and I'm still not getting, I'm seeing everybody on Instagram getting their glitter panty Leia. So I write him again. I'm like, yo, bro, what the fuck is up with this? And he'll attest to it right here in the, in the chat room. What the fuck is my panties at? Like, the, the bigger deal was like, yeah, I want to complete my set. But I had somebody else that was expecting one of these guys. Like... That's the tough part. So here's a lesson learned for the both of us. Uh, <laughs> communication is key. So thank you, Leland, for having communication with me. But so is tracking on things you buy. And I know it can be a pain in the ass, and I know it's extra money, and I know it's extra work, but I'm willing to pay 275 to make sure that my glitter panty Leia's come the way I paid for them. So Leland was awesome enough for you guys to know I was like, yeah, what are we going to do about this? They never made it. He's like, well, I only have one glitter panty left. So I'm sorry, but I can send you a red panty variant that I've never released before. I can send you a couple of those. You can give him one of those and you can keep one for yourself. And, you know, that was really nice. And I'm still a little upset because I didn't get the glitter for Jacob. Oop, oops. Anyway, Jacob, Pin Wizard is my man who was cool with getting the red panties. So he's going to get red panties instead, which is kind of cool because it's unreleased and, you know, that's neat and red's pretty sexy or whatever. But um, the bottom line of it all is I highly suggest all makers who dom ship domestically include tracking on your shipping. For us collectors who really value that certain piece that you may sell out of and if it gets lost in the mail and I don't get it and I paid for it and I always get as an apology or another variant that... Is supposed to replace what I really wanted and paid for it really breaks my heart so please take this into account going forward try your best to include shipping with tracking on all your domestic orders guys domestic orders can get that okay so there it is let's start with the Leia's shall we then Leland doesn't do backing cards shit luck no no backing cards with shit luck so I pulled out a note card and popped all the Leia's on there but now, of course, it's being a real pain in the ass to take off because it's not all solid. So, shall we? Yeah, it's just one of those things where it's like, look, it's, it, 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 it really goes a long way with, um, with real collectors, I think, because there's a reason why. Look at how beautiful all these look together. Look at how beautiful all four of these look together. Imagine if I didn't have this one and it was just these three. It wouldn't look as beautiful. This just looks so much more beautiful. I mean, there's no real difference. I've reviewed these two. You guys have seen these two on the stream. All the difference here is her cooter. You got a red cooter and a glittery cooter. Look at that. It's beautiful. It did a good job. The glitter looks good. It does. So thanks, shit luck. Hopefully the green will last till I can have money to buy pins again, which might not be till next year. <laughs> yes, even though I have a job now, I'm still broke as fuck. Oh, green one's in the mail. Oh, bro, thanks, dude. Seriously? Dude, that's, that's rock and roll, man. Thank you. Thanks, dude. But, you know, what's cool about these is that I'm never, I'm not gonna keep all these forever. You know what I mean? These aren't always going to be mine. 
I'm gonna give these away to somebody, but the one I will keep probably, which one am I gonna keep, you guys, you think, of all four of these? Which one do you think Pin Pirate will wanna keep out of all four of these Leia's? I think you know. That new new. So. Indoor Finders, yes, you just missed it. Yo, Indoor, I was gonna review your pins tonight because I just got them in the mail, but like I wrote you, they're they're the wrong ones. Unless I totally flubbed the um, the titles and the names of each, which I may have done, but I, that's not what I've been. I've been watching Star Wars, reading Star Wars my whole life. I'm pretty sure I know the difference. It's all good. Glitter duh, y'all know. Um, so vending machine death saw me do my solo pin last week, my slave slave ship, and was like, "Yo, bro, do you need some more Star Wars pins to up your Wednesdays? Let me send you." the VX, uh, uh, VFX 44 for next week. I was like, bro, thank you. Yeah, purple, oh, purple is the first, my bad. Thanks, thanks dude, I got a mix, but that's okay, now I know. I'll, they'll go on the board that way. They're going, they'll go on the board that way. So, we got this dope Hans pistol v VFX uh, Handycam 44 here, mashup here. Soft enamel double posted on his standard A plus backing card, vending machine death. I, I still love this back card as an as an original backing card. It's not the most high quality backing card or anything. It's just a piece of, you know, standard like card, but it's got all his info on it. And it's got the sickest like little setup. It's like all his little pins are vended. You know, it's like, oh give me that. Oh, I want that one. You know? But double posted, got the back stamp. Got the number. Ooh. Two out of a hundred, bro. I didn't even see that. Look at that. Look how sexy that is written all the way out. Vending machine death. Love it. Great name. <laughs> but it's got great detail in the ridges, the soft, of course you can feel it all. You can read Handycam there, you see that. Really funny little mashup. Super cool for all of us nerds who do podcasts, live streams, and like Star Wars and things like this because, you know, I took TV productions in high school. This is Vending Machine Death, VM Death. Vending Machine Death, fantastic pin. Next up, I've got this saucy little glittery number from Shifty. There's also a Deadpool variant of this, but he knows I'm a, a big fan of Boba Fett and of glitter. So he sent me the glitter stitch here, which is great. Hard enamel, double posted, silver nickel, dark nickel. But look at the different glitter variant in it. You got orange in the pads, right? And then in the helmet and then the armbands. Fantastic. Got the cutout up here, which you know I appreciate right here, right? Cut out on the helmet, you know? Cut out in the cape lines. See that? Let's take the backing card away for a sec. You can see it better in the pin backings. A little mark I put there, I guess. Let's get that off myself. There we go. Awesome pin. Great Disney mashup all around. It's going to be fun to wear at the park. Got to like the detail in the arms and the gloves and stuff. Smash it with the colors too. The colors on this is really are really pretty. The different blues and the aquas. And honestly, the video doesn't do it justice here. I think. I think this pin is much more beautiful in person than a video or a picture. So... I think these might be running low if I'm not mistaken, but um, Shifty would be able to confirm or disconfirm that. Now, the question is, does this go on the Disney board part of the board or the Star Wars part of the board? That's the hard decision. But luckily, I made it so that they kind of blend together. So, yeah, it's going to be, there's going to be a perfect spot for it. Last but not least, my 
good good buddies BB Create have just smashed it again. I'm gonna first I'm gonna first start with the Jedi Mario's World because they released this publicly. It's got a glowing lightsaber, <clears throat> hard enamel, double posted, limited variant, only a hundred made. Got that BB Create back stamp number on it, dark nickel. And look at this thing. I mean, it's a fl it's flawlessly beautiful. This is what hard enamel does. It turns a good pen into a great pen. This is a soft enamel pen would have been a good pen. This would have been a good soft enamel pen, okay? No complaints about this as a soft enamel pen. But this as a hard enamel pen? Yo, seriously. Let's see some of that glow real quick, shall we? Look at that. Look at that glow. You know? Yoshi, cute, cute as fuck. Follows in the vein of their um, My Little Ponies. You know, it just reminds me of the My Little Ponies that they've done. Great cutout on the arm here. You know, you can barely see it, but it's there. It's there, yo. It's cut out back here, see it? Right here? Right there in between? These cutouts matter so much for me. You guys don't even know. It makes it so much cleaner. It's just really clean. And sleek. Your tauntaun will die before you reach the first marker. Well then I'll see you in hell. Oh boy. <laughs> Here we go. Turn the light on. <laughs> I love cutouts too. It really it enhances the pen. I saw a Mrs. Doubtfire pen today that I really liked. I really wanted. I really want it. Obviously, I can't buy any pins, but I really want it. But the glasses, the the glasses had this big white spot in the in the, and it just it threw the whole thing off for me. Threw the whole thing off for me. And I thought, well, you could have just cut that little piece out and it would have made all the difference in the pin, for me at least. So, anyway, I, I will pass on a pin for things like that. I will. I will. I have no problem with it. Like, for example, uh, Dead Original has put out a Marge pinup eating donuts and then Eerie Face recently put one out and both did them in soft enamel and I just can't because this pin is what I'm talking about. It's a good pen soft. I would rather have it be a great hard enamel pen like it should be. So anyway, polished gold, second variant of this droid love, which they also call best droid friends. BB on the left, R2 on the right, 3PO of course in the middle. And then I believe it's stamped on all three of these or not. No, just, just two. I don't know why I assumed that. That would be a lot of work and a lot of money. But ain't that beaut? This is a hard pen to take a picture of. <gasps> Mark Mother's Ball. Amazing. But just such a cool pen because you could wear just this, you know? Or you could wear just BB. Or you could wear just R2. And y'all know I got this just for R2, really. I'm an R2 fan. I'm an R2 collector. I love R2. And sure, I'm happy to have the whole pen. But the way they did this, it just makes it so cool and functional. You know what I mean? It's cool. Love it. Put these down. And now we'll get to what y'all really want to see. Y'all really want to see that new new. That new, 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 new fresh. The freshest new, new you can find in the Star Wars land right now. Bam. Glitter variants of both Darth Roses and Dahlia Mall right here in your face. Live in person for the first time. Saw these at the um, brewery pop-up show on Sunday and I, and I looked at Miguel and I was like, you didn't bro, you didn't do this to me. You didn't do this to me and you just put these this out. 
Then you didn't you do a glitter one on me? Dirty boy. He knows I love it. Unreleased, yes, both unreleased. Miguel, can you tell the good people when they will officially be released for the public consumption in the store? Dahlia too, yes. This is hard, I believe, with epoxy. Is that epoxy over this, Miguel? I think it is. And then the Dahlia, ugh, coupled right up with the other one I got, the, the first variant of this. Man. Don't fuck with me, Obi-Wan. Pins and pints, they will officially be available to the public for consumption. And then no epoxy, just hard. Nice, really good, clean. I mean, like, it's so good. It looks like it's epoxy because it's that good. So good. Bold colors, they really pop. And like, th sure, the Darth Roses looks a little dark because the green... The, the green looks a little dark, but I'm telling you, in the light of day, in the sunlight of day, it's it, it it's blaring. It's blazing. You know? <laughs> Big Bad won everything in that mystery spin. Are we paused? Oops. These are beautiful. Thank you very much, Miguel, for making these and for... Are we there? Are we back? Are we back? I think we're back. It doesn't matter because that's really the end of the stream anyway, but I just don't like it when it ends abruptly like that. Anyway. Sorry, guys. I can't quit. Peace, love, and yarg. I guess that's the end of it. Tomorrow I'm doing all I saw a dino. All of them. It's just all I saw a dino tomorrow. I think we're live again. I think we're live again. Are we live, you guys? So tomorrow's all I saw a dino. I'm doing many of, of their pens tomorrow. So tune in eight o'clock tomorrow. That's it. I don't want any more noise. Hope you can fight tomorrow night too. We'll see you then. Thanks for joining you guys. And nothing but peace, love, and yarg, you know? Goodness.